Well, Aaron Best put it perfectly earlier this week when he said this matchup between heated conference foes will be the battle of the angriest. It's a top 15 FCS showdown between two ticked off teams coming off of blowout losses to FBS programs from the state of Oregon as the FCS runner-ups number four Montana State battle number 15 Eastern Washington here on the Red Inferno. Montana State won the toss and will receive Marquis Johnson back to receive. Had a big kick return for a touchdown last week as he'll let this one sail out of bounds. And third and 11. Empty backfield for Malott as he'll go to the air for the first time today. Quick strike and underthrows his intended target in Robbie Alston and a quick three and out for Montana State. This first drive for Montana State as they'll punt it away. Efton Chisholm the third back to return for Eastern Washington. As he'll call fair catch at the 35-yard line, and that's where Eastern Washington will start their first drive of the afternoon. Absolutely. So you're going to see a lot of open sets today, a lot of 10 personnel, 11 personnel, one back, zero tight ends, one back, one tight end. He's not a tall guy, and so he's going to, he's going to be in gun a lot so he can see the field. They go to the 61% as they'll go to the ground here, and they'll be stopped just short of the first down marker. Nice tackle there. Nice, nice, nice technique by Brody Greeby out of Melstone. Going with the Wildcat. They give it right to Smith, and he finds a hole. And Smith's got open space. Burning up the Red Inferno, and he is gone for six. Eastern Washington quickly on the board. Starting safety, uh, and you've got the young man at a quarter lane playing. It is, it is what it is. Just got to forget about it move on. Another touchback. As a student assistant, well, then they offered to pay for his master's program. So then he became a grad assistant. And when he thought his coaching career was done, they actually called him. And they said, hey, we're not going to. As a head coach, obviously, that run to the 2018 FCS championship game as Malott will pitch it out to the outside. Elijah Elliott, he's got space. He'll pick up a first down into the secondary and gets taken down at around the 44-yard line. And for Elijah Elliott, who only got two carries last week against Oregon State, a good run there. Next year behind. Isaiah Fonse as well as Tommy Malott. New set of downs, play action. Malott again going to the air and hauled in by Willie Patterson, able to stay on his feet after getting tripped up and then shoved out of bounds and another first down for you. He's a Washington boy. Uh, nice job keeping his feet and getting extra yards, move the chains. Willie Patterson has been a big, big player on this Montana State offense. Playing back in his home state out of Tacoma, Washington. And Another give, and with open space down the fringe, this time Elijah Elliott able to power his way into the end zone. Elijah Elliott, his first TD of the season. Making his impact known early after not getting a lot of carries last week. What a way to answer, too, after, the, after Eastern popped that big play. I tell you what, that thing was well blocked, but man, what a play by that kid. That's a, a lot on him. Fantastic play by that young man. Got it up at seven between these two big sky foes as once again Efton Chisholm back for the return and another booming kick out of the end zone for Blake Lesnar at noon. Empty backfield for Gunnar Talkington on first and ten as he goes over the middle and completes it to Efton Chisholm as they target him once again. Takes the handoff out into the flat and tripped up out of bounds. Nice open field tackle by Ty Okada. Nice job using the sideline. Temperature isn't the temperature down there, I promise you that. No, at, I, at about 10, 15. Well, I can imagine too. Ashley's probably burning down there, and you add those pads a whole lot hotter down there. A big hit, and a flag comes flying as that one was intended. Looks like for Dylan Ingram, the tight end. See another look at this. Hey. Number three of the defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Just like that in the Montana State Territory. Talkington pumps, and he can do work with his legs as well. Takes off and gets absolutely leveled, and it's going to be pretty short. The first down marker as Danny and Louis LaKeppa delivered that big hit. But, boy, as you're, you're a fifth-year senior, you're finally getting your shot to be the quarterback. You better get down because Danny U's coming, and Danny's got some pop. I love him as a young linebacker. It's all about eyes and just keep learning the game. This kid's going to be a good, good player for, for the Bobcats. Another Washington native out of Puyallup. Micah Smith gets to the edge. And how about Micah Smith again finds the black turf for six. The redshirt junior. 
Been able to find the end zone twice as Marquis Johnson this time is going to field it at the four. Following his blockers, Marquis Johnson still on his feet and gets beyond the 30 and finally gets taken down. Three wide on the far side. Malott looking to throw again. This time goes to the near side and hauling it in. Robbie Alston. And it looks like it's going to be extremely close to that first down marker, and he will pick up the first down. Former Division III second team All-American. Nice stick route by Rob. Look, not, not a stick route. He's running the out route right at the sticks, though. Perfect job by him. They needed 10. They got 10. Nice job by him. And off to Elijah Elliott. Able to dance, gets past midfield into the secondary and gets down at the 49-yard line. Inside, made a cut, nice run. We'll take it every time. Eight-yard runs, great play. Out of the pistol now, Tommy Mallott. 71 yards all ready for Elijah Elliott. He gets the carry again on the pitch. And gets inside the 40. Do a lot of the work this afternoon. Play action, rolling to his right. Malott fires, and that one's complete. Another first down for Montana State, and once again, who else? Elijah Elliott. Again, empty backfield, Malott under pressure, lobs it up far side and intended for Elijah Elliott, and that'll bring up fourth down. Hard try here for Blake Glesner. Glesner. Right through to make it 14 to 10. What an interesting game for sure, moving forward. Already 84 rushing yards for Elijah Elliott to go along with 15 through the air. Efton Chisholm will haul it in at the 11-yard line. As Chisholm is a big playmaker, but he'll get stopped at the 32-yard line. Nice open field tackle on the kickoff there by Jory Choke. Backup linebacker from Bozeman, Montana. Bozeman high, he's a hop. Another give to Smith. And this time going to be wrapped up in the backfield. Talkington lofts it up. And too strong intended for Efton Chisholm the third. He's been very high on early on. As he gets tripped up. And now he'll just let this one bounce. And they'll roll to the 20, and Montana State will take over. Every game, that reminder has helped him emerge as a star receiver for the D3 that it, he played at in Minnesota, and he's carried it to Bozeman here for his final year of eligibility. Just a remarkable story for a remarkable player, guy. Fakes the handoff, and Chambers wrapped up in the backfield. Another give to Elijah Elliott. A burst up the middle. Nope, Tommy Malott's actually going to keep it. Fooled me too, and Eastern Washington said the ball came loose. And now a player down. I think it might be Tommy Malott. And that is absolutely scary right now. Tommy Malott down. And it looked like after the play, after the play, several Montana State players kind of took exception to the hit. And well, he took, an he took a shot, scene. Ben. He took a heck of a shot. Let's just hope this young man's all right. Take another look. Yeah, if anything, it looked like his helmet hit off the turf because it looked like the two Eagle defenders' helmets hit, not, right. to not Tommy's. Yeah. Starts to slide down. Well, hard to see from that angle. This might be our best angle right here. Right. Yeah, that hard bounce off the turf right that, that, there. That was it. Help himself up, but still being attended to by the training staff for Montana State. But on his feet, he's going to get helped over to the sideline. And again, that story going back to last season, taking over in the FCS playoffs began, began I should say, a, a run that he became an absolute fan favorite out in Bozeman and as well as Montana State fans and you know, has merged as a leader for this program players take to him and obviously a tremendous story and you know you hate to see a guy like that not only a playmaker but just a tremendous person off the field he, he, as well. he is but he, he's an old soul for a young, for a young guy he's he's wise beyond his years you know a good human being when they're great with kids 
And after practices and scrimmage and stuff, he stays out there forever to shake hands and throw the football with the kids. My, my seven-year-old loves him. He's got a shirt. He's got a Tommy Touchdown shirt. He's seven years old. So, yeah, the kid, the kid is special. Back in control of this Montana State offense. First down. Taking the handoff. He'll show off the arm. Oh. Trying to get Robbie Alston, and here comes the hanky. Well, excuse me, that was Willie Patterson. Clarence, number seven of the defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Trey Weed. Play over there, so I mean, it, it's, a, it's a great crowd on a beautiful day. Cleve Ann Thomas, the man in motion. And able to stay on his feet. Creative. Second and four. Chambers rolling to his left. He's got open space. A stiff arm and gets pushed out of bounds. And a big cheer from the Montana State faithful after that shove. Fullback lined up at the tailback. You're just going to see a lot of a, a lot of this from Chambers. Again, when you have a big body like that, 6'3", 232 pounds. Montana State will just wind down the clock as that will be the final play of the first quarter and an exciting start here at Roos Field. A 14-10 lead for Eastern Washington. Second quarter underway on third down. Sean Chambers is going to do it himself and pulling that big defensive line. And we'll see where the spot is. And it looks like he is going to pick up enough for the first down. John Chambers once again showing his size. In the first quarter of football, they probably just want a little, little fewer, uh, le less rush yards. On the sweep to Willie Patterson, dancing around defenders, finding a hole. And he'll get himself into the red zone as he gets down to the 13-yard line. So you're kind of the tail of the tape right now. That's something Willie, Willie P right there has always done well, is getting, getting himself loose on the perimeter. And you know, it's not just the running backs. We've seen a lot of these sweeps this season. Again, you got to utilize all options as you can. Jay Fitzgerald will now move into the backfield. Patterson once again in motion. RJ Fitzgerald will trot into the end zone. The big man rumbles in for his first TD of the season. Well, what you got going in your running back room, and you know, it's neat to see RJ, who's a fifth year senior, he's a captain, he's a bell cow, he's just a real dude. And he said, Hey, I'm doing everything in my power to get this guy a touchdown. Now it's on RJ, and sure enough, great, great play by RJ, keeping his feet there, getting six. He had somebody on either arm just because he didn't look very steady. I'll definitely try to get an update uh, when we talk to Beacon at the half. Ashley appreciated as that kick will go out of bounds. We get a stop. Jacoby James was the man in motion, talking to him with a lot of time. The time running out, Sebastian Valdez trying to chase him down. Floats it up and hauled in by the big tight end and Dylan Ingram. Nice job finding his tight end downfield. Talkington will keep it himself. And a big hit there delivered by Sebastian Valdez. One of them. So go right back to him, trying to power his way across the line. And he gets dragged down. It's going to be pretty close to that first down marker, and he will pick up the first down. Now, that was a big concern for Brent Vegan last week. He said the defense, especially the D-line, he felt for the most part played well. They were just on the field for too long, and they might have a big stop here on third down. And once again, Nolan Askelson. That time going to Tuna Alta here. And Eastern's going to keep the offense on the field on fourth down. Good scrape there by Nolan. Clean up there by Danny Yu. Good, nice play by Nolan. Good series for him. Eastern two for two on fourth downs this season. Handoff. They give it to Micah Smith. who's made a couple big plays today, and he will pick up the first down. 89 yards today for Micah Smith. Pressure coming. Talkington wrapped up in the backfield. The pressure came. And it's going to be Ben Seymour. Yeah, you can see you can see Brody Greeby just gets tripped up. He looked he looked like he wanted it first, but he got tripped up. Nice job finishing there by Ben Seymour. Big play because this was a nice drive by Eastern. That, that that's a really big playmakers last year on Brent Vegan's squad. Talkington, lots of time in the pocket, floats it up, and here comes another flag. Pi coming on Montana State. Number two of the defense, ball in place at the spot of the foul, automatic first down. Some generational talent up front for the Bobcats last year. I mean, you, you, you had. An outside linebacker drafted, a defensive end drenched it in again. Out of the pistol formation. 
Rolls, wide open target in the back of the end zone. And it's Efton Chisholm the third, their big playmaker in that wide receiver core as Eastern Washington goes back on top. To see this kick for Montana State. It's slowly starting to remind me of the Eastern Washington Bobcat games from about seven, eight years ago where it was a score, 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 and the games were ended up 55-53. Marquis e. Johnson still on his feet. And a good return there as he gets beyond the 35. Sean Chambers, the handoff. Elijah Elliott still on his feet. He's had a productive afternoon as he gets taken down just about a yard short of that first down marker. And prior to that run, Elijah Elliott, 84 yards on the ground already for them. Now at 195 as Chambers will throw it out into the flat to Cleve Ann Thomas. And the transfer out of Kentucky gets wrapped up near midfield and a late flag thrown. Chambers wide hope and hole up the middle, and he's got a burst of speed, gets inside the 10, and a big hit, and a late flag thrown. So well, we've already had Tommy Malak go down, yep. not because of a hit. Yeah, this will be targeting. Yep. This will be targeting. They're going to review it. Big hit delivered. Targeting or is it? I, listen, you're talking to an old defensive coach. Right. I think the kid. That's why I asked. I think the kid is trying to play football. No. There is no foul for targeting. The result of the play is a Montana State first down. I like the call. I really do. Game for Montana State had that touchdown run. Chambers wide open target as Willie Patterson will trot into the end zone. Montana State back on top with Willie Patterson's TD. <laughs> when these two teams would get together and it would be, you know, you'd have 110 points put on the board. Yeah, you talk about how easy that was also for Willie Patterson. Didn't have anyone really in space kind of on an island and just, you know, exciting first half in this exciting ball game. Eastern Washington back on the field just as Jackson gets tripped up in the backfield. And it looks like Simeon Woodard was there on the stop. Woodard has been a... Big playmaker at that cornerback position. Going to the air this time and able to break away from Woodard. It's going to be Anthony Stell hauling in that pass. Montana State looking to bring the pressure. Talkington, though, with a lot of time in the pocket over the middle and incomplete in the, out of the hands of Freddie Roberson. Big stop. Big Hard. He has gotten everything he deserves. I, I love Ty Okada. Another guy who's really become a fan favorite out in Bozeman. And, Again, he's a you great see kid. the production right there from yeah. him. No, he's a great kid. His defense. You know, Willie Mac Garza raved about his leadership in fall camp. And it's Taco Dollar. We'll call for a fair catch at around the 33-yard line for the Bobcats. Pistol formation. Chambers looks to throw. A quick dart. And out of the reach of Robbie Alston looking for a flag, but that will force fourth down. i tell you that only a second pass of the day to go along with that TD throw. The red jerseys on the red turf is challenging, isn't it, Ben? It is. But a booming punt right there. Uh, but it will bounce all the way into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Again, making his mark early already with the Big Sky Offensive Player of the Week honor. With the pressure, just has to get rid of it as Sebastian Valdez, who's been big on that defensive line, was charging in. He's going to be a special player. He looks the part for a young man, you know, not being very old. He, he, that kid is a well-put-together kid. He's going to be a great player for the Bobcat defense for years to come. Third down, Talkington on the slant. Finds a target in Nolan Olm. We haven't called his number a whole lot today. And that's going to be short of the first down. Nick Kokic to punt it away. And that one is blocked. And this takes a little bit of a favorable Eastern Washington bounce. Boy, that, that could have turned into a disaster possibly for Eastern Washington. Ty Okada, who else? Making the big play. Wow. That, those are game-changing type plays. I, I don't remember the statistic off the top of my head. It's something like 80% of the teams that can block a punt in a game will win the game. Under three and a half to play here in this first half. Chambers with one man to beat. A stiff arm on Anthony Smith. Gets to the edge. Chambers rumbles out of bounds. Another big run by the transfer out of Wyoming. You got to love those quarterbacks, man. They, when they get to call their own number, they, they're going to do it. But he is a big, strong dude. I mean, that, that is a, a, a senior a, a defensive player that's been in the, in, in the system a long time. And, and Sean didn't even give him a chance. 
Chambers, flag flies. Chambers trying to get every single inch he can. Taken down at about the one or the two, but there is a flag thrown, as we mentioned a second ago. Illegal formation, offense. That penalty's been declined. Wilson we'll play is fourth down. And wide right, no good. Big defensive stop by Eastern Washington. Boy. Talkington going to the air. And that one is complete to Dylan Ingram. They'll let the clock run out as that will wrap up the first half here on the Red Inferno. An exciting first 30 minutes as Montana State takes a 24-21 lead into the break. You know, I know both, both these outfits are trying to clean some stuff up. The one thing that does stand out in mind with all this offense that we've seen, zero turnovers. All right, so from that from that aspect, it's been a pretty clean game. It's goom ruined. A lot of talent coming here in Cheney as he'll go to the air on the first play and in and out of the hands. And it looked like that one was intended for the wideout, Freddie Roberson. And they'll bring up second down as it looks like Nolan Askelson was there on the coverage. Turns quarterbacks, a lot of great players. They know how to develop QBs as Sebastian Valdez is there to bring the crunch in the backfield. Again, a big playmaker on that D-line this season, and again, continuing to prove why with that sack. Big time play by Sebastian Valdez in the Bobcat defense, and I'll tell you why. I don't think we're going to get it at this angle, but number one, Freddie Roberson was wide open uh, on the uh, Bobcat sideline, so Bobcat defensive coordinator. We'll keep it on the ground on third down, Justice Jackson. Able to get just a yard short of the original line of scrimmage. First game for Callahan O'Reilly getting two picks. That's a, I mean, that's a good season for a linebacker, let alone let a game with two interceptions. A line drive for Taco Dowler. As he'll get to about the 41-yard line. The sideline standing right now when he first came out. He was still sitting on the bench, getting looked at by some of the athletic trainers. But it looks like he's doing a lot better than where he was at before. He doesn't look his days, and he's up on the sideline right now, cheering on his teammates in some street clothes. Chambers has been effective as well at that QB position as he'll look to throw on the first play, and he's got a wide open target. The tight end, Derek Snell, almost got swallowed up, able to stay on his feet, and finally down. To the 33-yard line quickly. Back two tight ends. They put Trayton Pickering and Derek Snell together. Eastern's, Eastern's defense just got screwed up. Nice, nice play by the Alaskan Assassin. Nice job by Derek. Yeah, Brent Vegan said back in fall camp they were looking to count on their two tight ends a whole lot more than last year. Wanted to use more of those two tight end sets. Chambers will go to the air. Pressure coming. Hauled in by Willie Patterson, and he's going to be well short of that first down marker. As I like it. I think it's a good call. You know, set, set the tone. I mean, it, it's, it's a tough distance for your kicker. Chambers, wide open space into the secondary and takes a licking as he gets beyond the first down marker. A shot. Three wide out set. All on the far side. Chambers looking to do it himself again. And plunges ahead inside the 20. Way down, trying to control the clock. Keeping what's kind of been a struggling defense off the field. And a rough... Handoff there as that one was bobbled. Thankfully for Montana State, Sean Chambers was able to pick it up. And Chambers getting to the edge. He's got space and tripped up. And he will pick up another first down. Sean Chambers continuing to move the sticks. And again, Brent Vegan said earlier this week, Sean Chambers, Tommy Millat have been our best runners. That's the truth. And... You know, today on third downs. This time to give to Elijah Elliott, dancing up the middle, and another big run by Elijah Elliott. Oh, and again, Elijah Elliott last week only two carries for four yards. Has been producing here in this big sky opener. Now over the century mark at 104. Primetime game as being the dude, and he hasn't put the ball on the ground. I mean, that's what I respect right now. Chambers fakes the sweep, trying to get every single inch, and he plunges over the goal line. Touchdown, Montana State, as Sean Chambers increases the Bobcat lead. Great drive by the Bobcat offense. The drive here is Gunnar Talkington. We'll hand it off to Justice Jackson. No, excuse me, that was Micah Smith on the handoff and a flag thrown. There is no foul on the play. 
Second down. Keeping it on the ground again. And that Montana State defense holds. Ready short was in on the tackle. I got Montana. a lot of work to do with you this fall. It's only game one. A lot of time to learn. Another kick. Taco Dowler is just going to let this one bounce. Takes a favorable Montana State bounce to the 36-yard line. 31-21. Close to the Columbia River Gorge as on play action. Chambers looks to throw over the middle and finds a target. And this time he's going to Cleve Ann Thomas. This is red turf very well. Actually competed in state titles in the javelin and the discus right here at Roos Field. Up the gut, helmet flies off, but Elijah Elliott continues to fight and continues to battle as he gets beyond the original line of scrimmage. Chambers airing it out, looking for Willie Patterson, and that one tipped off the hands, incomplete. Position. And a fair catch called at the 11-yard line. But again, you go back two, so it's either 22 personnel, gap scheme power, a gap power. Up the middle, and it looks like it is going to be enough for a first down. Brothers on the team now, too. Third and three, Roberson, the man in motion, Talkington. And in and out of the hands, almost a pick right there by Callahan O'Reilly. That close from being INT number three. He needed one more step. One pick six. Yeah, just in and out of the hands. And you can tell he was eyeing six right there. Yeah, you saw all that open space. Good after. A high snap and barely able to get it away is Nick Kokic. It's Taco Dowler. We'll haul it in at the 42-yard line. Yards on the ground, 56 through the air. Pressure coming. Still on his feet and finally brought down by a gang of Eagle defenders. Heading into the fourth quarter of this top 15 FCS showdown here on the Red Inferno with number four, Montana State. The 10-point lead. Third down and long coming up for the Bobcat offense on the other side here from Cheney. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it's only a four-man rush. Let it clear and let him run exactly. A gap up the middle, but Chambers is going to get to the 40, but that's as far as he's going to get. And that will set up fourth and long for Montana State. And the Bobcats will punt it away here on fourth and 12. And Eastern's just going to let this one bounce out of bounds. And around the 19-yard line. Every single home game at Bobcat Stadium, a sellout this year. They love their Bobcats and Bozeman, but now Eastern Washington going to work. Freddie Roberson hauls it in, and it's a foot race into Montana State territory. Freddie Roberson takes it to the house. Talk about a big play and a strike from Gunnar Talkington to make this a four-point game. In quarter, and they took a 21-17 lead. Marky Johnson will just let it fly into the end zone for a touchback. So we go back to that touchdown reception from Freddie Rowe. Chambers trying to make something work. Throws it on the run. And Willie Patterson able to haul it in, but well short of the first down marker. Some game. You've got a 10-point lead, uh, lead on the road. Next thing you know, we've got a ball game. And a short punt. Yeah, a little shank out of bounds happens, right? Right. You know, so I mean, they they do like to play here. It's I mean, and the Bobcats have allowed for the momentum to shift uh, with some big plays, and this crowd is definitely back into it right now. One today on fourth down. Hand off, trying to break loose. Looks like it's Justice Jackson keeping it on the ground again, beyond the 25. Junior. Talkington swings it over to Afton Chisholm the third. Jukes one defender. Chisholm hurdles a defender and pushed out of bounds. And you can see just how dynamic of a playmaker Afton Chisholm the third is. Uh, first and goal. Talkington. Lots of time rolling to his right. Slings it. Wide open target. And Eastern Washington back on top. This time going to Nolan Olm. Come on, strong here in the last half. 
First hand off to Elijah Elliott. Elliott able to break a couple tackles and gets beyond the 35. And yet, you know, I believe numbers told, told the whole story in Portland last week for the box. Not at all. Defense. You know, you, if you just look at the box where you're sitting there going, oh my gosh, the defense. Well, you know, uh, uh, special teams and, and offense it can also push in those situations too. That being said, the Montana State Bobcat defense is giving up far too many big plays. 15 yard gain by Elliott as they feed the back again. And talk about the afternoon for Elijah Elliott as he picks up about four yards. Before that run, 127 yards on the red turf this afternoon for Elijah Elliott coming off that performance last week in Portland. We only had two carries for four yards. He's really put the running game on his back along with Sean Chambers this afternoon. That's a play, play sheet looks a lot better at third and one and third and 17. <laughs> this is exactly where you want to be with Sean Chambers in the backfield. Elliott, the man in motion. And right on cue, keeps it himself, gets to the edge, and he'll just sprint out of bounds to pick up a first down and get into Eastern Territory and here in Eastern. A lot of experience. Those two, those two in particular played a lot of football for, for the Eagles. Elijah Elliott dances up the middle and gets beyond the 40-yard line as that will bring up third down. Chambers trying to draw them offside. Free play coming. Chambers airing it out, trying to go for Willie Patterson, and he'll also get a pass interference call. There are two fouls on the play, both by the defense. Offside, number 33, that penalty is declined. Pass interference, number seven of the defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Field out of the pistol, fakes the handoff to Marquis Johnson, and Chambers once again doing work with his legs. Chambers takes a big hit at the 10. But again, when you have a big body like that, he can, you can take those blows. They uh, invested in there in the end zone. Just give him open space. He's going to make opposing defenses pay. Now bring up first and goal. R.J. Fitzgerald in the backfield. Willie Patterson, the man in motion. Chambers trying to fight and gets wrapped up by the ankles. Chambers looking to throw lots of time over the middle. And that one's picked off in the end zone. Once again, Jaron Banks. Came up with a big stop on third down and gets a big pick in the end zone to get the ball back to the Eagles. Using a couple big playmakers in 2021. And, you know, Banks is enjoying that one. Eastern Washington offense back on the field with under four minutes to play, and the ball's on the turf. Wow. Montana State saying they have it. Point. As a coach, you're teaching your boys point. Point. Make the referees believe it's your ball. Who comes out of this scrum? And Eastern Washington able to retain possession. No, going to Montana State. Wow. The initial signal was Eastern Washington football. Boy, you talk about a big defensive play by Montana State. Defensive line coach, Coach Howe right there. He's fired up and he should be. Who was able to jar it loose? Right there. It looks like Sebastian Valdez. Who else? Why not? You talk about and who, how who, big he's been. Who got it? Was it Ty Okada that got it? Looked like Ty Okada <laughs> there for a second. And again, you just talk about, boy, just how big has Sebastian Valdez been this season? Yeah, you saw Gunnar Talkington and Ty Okada both die for the football. Wow. Talk about a humongous momentum shift. After review, the ruling on the field of a fumble recovered by Montana State yep. stands. First down, Montana State. So again, how about Ty Okada pouncing on it? Sebastian Valdez able to jar it loose. What a job by the kid from Woodbury, Minnesota, and Ty Okada. Chambers finds a hole, able to break a couple tackles, and gets shoved out of bounds. At the 14-yard line, as Sean Chambers with Tommy Malott knocked out of the game, and we got an Eastern Washington Eagle down on the turf. Montana State down by four here in the fourth. Chambers doing the work himself, powering and trots into the end zone. Sean Chambers, the leading rusher in TDs in the FCS. When you need a big play, you give it to him, and he puts the Bobcats back in front. What a big run by the transfer out of Wyoming. Staying on his feet and battling himself into the black turf. Yeah, no quote that. Obviously dealt with injuries at the University of Wyoming. But, and Brent Vegan 
said it best earlier this week when we asked him about Sean Chambers and how he was able to be brought to Bozeman. And, you know, he said when he came to Bozeman, it was basically a chance to, to get back to football. And, you know, he's doing it with guys who have accepted him very, very quickly. And obviously it's taken a very good turn for him so far in his first couple games with this Montana State crew. Nice job by them. Great, great job. You know, he's used to tell, tell the defense, you got one job. Get the ball back for the offense. And then let's for these big moments. In that first week against Tennessee State, led what was essentially a game-winning drive as he completes it to the near side. Freddie Roberson able to haul it in. Absolutely cannot wait to watch this replay. Watch Sebastian Valdez hit the quarterback. Runs through him. You can't call it. It's not late. It's on time. And that's what you tell defensive linemen. Don't stop because they'll call that. Don't put your hands up and stop. Run through them. Perfect. Perfect. Eyes up. Run through the quarterback. Great play by Sebastian. Yeah, continuing to make his presence known here in this game. Talkington out into the flat and getting tripped up. I tell you what, that is a nice play by James yep. Campbell right there. James. The season switched to DB, and, you know, Willie Patterson said that Campbell started making big tackles, and that really caught the eye of this coaching staff as Talkington goes down. There he is. Yep. Melstone. Melstone Montana Brody right Greeby. there. And, and you know what? We haven't called his name a ton today. And, you know, I, 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 think, I think they had a good game plan for Brody. Uh, you know, I, I feel like there's been a lot of plays against Brody that probably haven't been called where we've seen some holding against him. Nice job. Great finish by him. Nice play. Fourth and long for Eastern Washington. Talkington needs a big play. Pressure coming over the middle. And able to. No, the ball popped loose. And they're, they're saying interception. Is it interception? Daniel Louis Lakepa. Nolan Ohm looked like he had it hauled in, but you saw the ball pop up. And you and you can see Gunnar talking and just limping off. He's taking some shots now. Take another look here. So Nolan Ohm hauls it in. And you saw the ball pop loose. Now the big thing That's a here. Pick. No, it's a pick. Yep. It's the interception. Yep. Wow, wow, wow. What a last four minutes of this football game. Well, you hear the Eastern Washington crowd saying that Ulm should have been ruled down. A huge call here coming from our white hat today. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Interception, Montana State, first down. So talk about a big INT from Daniel Louis Lakepa. Well, <laughs> I mean, try making this call as a ref here. In real speed. In real speed. I mean, what? Wow. Okay. And again, if you're Daniel Louis Lakepa. Right place, right time. Oh, no question. Again, Eastern still with three timeouts remaining. Sean Chambers will slide. And they're going to mark him down at the under two minutes to play. Chambers, Elijah Elliott up the gut. First down, even more. Elijah Elliott with a big first down. He's got that dog in him. And talk about a big run to set up a first down. A big day for Elijah Elliott. Continuing to produce. Chambers keeps himself able to break one tackle, and he's got open space. Chambers gets to the edge, and he'll just slide down. Smart. Smart play there, yeah. Absolutely. You beat me to it. Smart. That, that, that's a veteran football player right there. Actually, televised game next week. Back in Bozeman against UC Davis. We'll be back for that Idaho State game. You know, aren't as good, but who's the head coach at Cal Poly? Bo Baldwin. Yep. He's got intimate knowledge of this outfit. Portland State, who's the head coach? Bruce Barnum intimate knowledge of this program because he coached here as well so wow i can't say enough about the bobcats and, and the way this turned out great great win and hey listen brent vegan's 2-0 and here mm -hmm. right i mean they, they, there's not too many coaches in the big sky that say that like none so nice job by coach getting out of here with a win yeah after losing seven straight as we highlighted against eastern washington it is now two straight wins for montana state here on the red inferno a 38 35 win this top 15 FCS start to the Big Sky season, and what a way to get this win for Montana State. Tommy Malak goes down early. Sean Chambers, we know how effective he's been offensively. Once again, 
tremendous afternoon. Finishes as the leading rusher for Montana State, 144 yards on the ground, a couple of touchdowns, and also had a TD pass as well. Sean Chambers, the transfer out of Wyoming. 38-35 the final, and you know, Ashley highlighted it earlier, just to see him smile whenever he gets into the end zone. You know he's loving his time in Bozeman right now, especially this afternoon, getting a huge road W. He's 235. But again, what an afternoon he had. I mean, how do you break down his game? Not only effective once again, running the football, but, you know, he's got a TD pass right here to Willie Patterson. Well, and, that, and that's his that's his wheelhouse. Short, intermediate routes, get the ball out of his hand quick, and it's not there. Run. Like that. Now, I mean, that's a design run, but... You know, he just, just play to his skill set. He is a big physical runner. Yeah, committed to Montana State the day after the FCS championship game. Standing by with their own Ashley Washburn. Sean, couple of momentum changing plays in that fourth quarter. You throw an end zone interception, defense gets the ball back and you punch it in. Can you even walk me through those couple minutes? Yeah, it's all blurry right now, but I mean, a huge thanks to the defense. They came through like, like they always do. And what better way to get an end zone award them? So, um, Super grateful from them. You know, it's a team game, and I'm glad we could pull it out today. 144 yards on the ground for you and two touchdowns, nine leading the nation. Can you even put into words what these couple games have been for you? Uh, it, I don't even know. This year just feels, I don't know, I'm going to get pretty emotional talking about it. It just means a lot, you know, come here, find a new home, have coaches like Coach House and Coach Vegan to believe in me, and it just means the world. I mean, I, I don't even know how to put it into words. It just means the world to me. So, yeah. Well, last question for me. House Wright was talking about how great it is to see you smile again, and I'm seeing that smile on your face. Are you having fun playing football right now? I am, I am, and that's a huge thanks to him. I mean, he's been, uh, he knows the whole story, and he's been here every step of the way, and I don't know, I'm just so grateful for him and Coach Vegan, and uh, I don't know, I'm just ecstatic right now, truthfully. Well, go celebrate that win. I know that team is excited to celebrate you. I'll send it back up to the booth, Ben.